Now, back to the practical. Yesterday, uh, Marianne had her presentation on the person house tree picture, and I don't want to repeat that. So I'm a bit, uh, I want to go back a little bit to the archetypes, and then maybe you can contribu contribute with, uh, in the, uh, in, um, if you want to. And at the back, we have some drawings by, uh, uh, by, uh, brought in by Rachel, and maybe we can look at them at a certain point. But you m must really help me, because I've used my fuel. You can understand. Is that an, well? You understand what I'm saying, eh? Yeah. So the extra lesson concept. It extra lesson is not a book. Extra lesson is a concept from which you can. Uh, well, when when you penetrate that, you, it gives you ground to stand on, and exactly that's what I did, bringing the the thing before the break. I took the extra lesson concept and start looking at what I know of the mystery of Golgotha. I hope you, you saw that. So you can approach the whole matter from another angle, of course. But I think for our work, it's always nice to, to, to try to fit things in and look at it from a specific way. Yeah, you're, you're getting me? So when we look at the drawings, there's the same thing. We ha again, we go back to this the vision, this, this uh, discrimination, or how do you say that, uh, between the structural and the, and the constitutional. That's the first thing. And Le uh, Marianne showed that already yesterday on the, on the screen. It is actually in the reading children's drawings, this diagram between the structural elements and the constitutional elements. So when you look at the structural element, you always are work, working at kinder, the, the early children's drawings. You are concerning um, circles. Is it true, Marianne? Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah? Squares, triangles, stars, cross, this way as well, and then combination of it. This kind of patterns, right? Geometrical patterns. Well, here in the Constitution, you can really, when you already picture the, the processes of the organs, actually that's what the children are drawing when they're scribbling these round forms. These are processes, right? This scribbling. I must do it the other way around because in the beginning they do it anti-clockwise. These are early patterns going anti-clockwise until they make their, their circle closed. And from that uh, we have all these patterns, the wavy patterns, the zigzagging also, be, which goes continuously on. Marianne said so, there was a question, isn't this very much geometrical, doesn't belong here? But it's not a form, it's a process also. Hmm? And what else do we have? We have these kinds of things, right? Am I missing something, Marianne? Can you help me? That's it? Okay. So there we see these early patterns. And from that, actually here is a round shape. Actually that's what the child does in the beginning. It's scribbling. I make it, I wrap it out later. It's scribbling. And from this scribble, these two elements come, which we see in the first grade, in the form drawing, the first form drawing. It is the round, also the curved line which appears from that, but also the straight line. When you go on and continue, there comes the straight line, you see? So in this is already this, or the other way around. And when you scribble this way and you scribble that way, you have a tree. Or a human being. We carry the tree inside our system. It's the, the small brain here and the spine. That's our tree. You see the Buddha tree. Buddha was sitting under the tree. Where's his tree then? It was in the garden somewhere. No, it was not. It was his small brain. You call it small brain? Cerebellum? Cerebellum. Yeah, cerebellum, small brain, and his spine. That's where he was sitting under. You see? And there he was in meditation. So it's the outer tree and the inner tree. So the children are not only drawing their breathing system, which is true, of course, when you turn it around, you have your trunk, which is your, what's it called? Bron uh, you 
Wat? Luchtpijp. Je luchtpijp. Oké. Okay. En dan de bronchia. You call it that? Anyway. So, it's your lung system, your breathing system. But it's also the spine and the brain. And the effect of the reading in the formation of the brain. I spoke about that, I mentioned that, I mean, how the, 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 the language center in the brain is formed by starting with the vowels, which comes from below up, it's the astral body, expressing itself, and then the consonants, which is movement, and the combination with the breathing, that always in, in this molding of the breathing, uh, uh, excuse me, in the molding of the brain, always this breathing is, 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 is the vessel. So, what you see in the tree, it's, when it's upside down you see the breathing, the lungs, but it's also a picture of how the breathing worked, has worked, in the molding, the, 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 the refining, is that a word? The differentiating of the brain. When it's very poor, you can say, yes, it's the breathing is poor, yes, but the effect of the breathing in molding the brain and the nervous system is also very little. I don't say they have unmolded brains, you shouldn't say that, but the effect, you see. So as long as, when the breathing is deepened, you will see that that will change. So they have these two things, it's the breathing itself, the air going in, but it's also the light that comes through the breathing and the nervous system up into the brain and makes forms there. Bruno said yesterday it's fat, and it's, what is it called, Shr shrinkles down or whatever, it's formed, yeah. Interesting, eh? Yeah. So the life goes out and it's the effect of the breathing and the nervous system and the blood which you see in the, in the tree. The tree represents a lot though. It has also to do with, um, with life forces for instance. That you can find in this Ernst Marty book we mentioned earlier. Bruno spoke about these four ethers and Ernst Marty has spoken and written this down. It's a small book, it's not that easy, but not, nothing is easy in our world, especially when you're concerning yourself with anthroposophy, <laughs> but that's working on the consciousness soul. So the different, the different ways the, the, the trees are shaped, you can see the influence of the different ethers. It's, there are diagrams in the book of Marty, you can find it there. So also the life forces and also the attack when there's something that had, has attacked the life forces of the child. Sometimes you really see an axe. The children dry, dr, dr, dry, uh, draw the person with an axe attacking their own life forces. There's a lot of things connected with the tree. But let's keep it, not in the per let's keep it close to the physical, not go into the psychological, but keep it to what it is. Organs, breathing or brain. And spine. Actually, the, uh, the kindergarten child draw, draws the spine. I think I've already said so. And the nerves, nerve endings, you see? In the fir tree, or the primitive fir tree. It's, it's the spine and, the, and then the nerves come in front, along the ribs. Okay, that's that. Now, to say it very, very uh, let's say, put it uh, into uh, opposites, then here, in the structural, in the geometrical, we have the, tr the, the house. So the house is the representative of the twofold man, the twofold aspect. The spirit soul, that's the triangle, and the body, which is astral, etheric, physical body. Astro etheric physical body, and even you could some in some way say the ego organization. Ego organization, which is something different than the ego. The ego is the spiritual and the soul. That's here. And the ego organization is something else. So spirit soul is a higher and higher aspect. 